What's going on everyone, Golden Ticket to History, coming to you today with a story that you've probably never heard about it with the happiest place on earth, Walt Disney World. Today we're here to tell a story about a gentleman by the name of Patrick Spikes, Patrick Allen Spikes to be precise, born on August 30th of 1994. He was an American former Walt Disney World employee who received a lot of media attention a few years ago after he was arrested for stealing over $14,000 worth of Disney World cast member costumes and props. So Spikes, a native of Florida, he studied entertainment at Full Sail University. He ran a social media site on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube under the name of Backdoor Disney. If you go and check it out on YouTube, you can see he still has about 12.4 thousand subscribers, but has no videos uploaded anymore on his YouTube channel, where he posted behind-the-scenes photos and videos backstage during his employment at Walt Disney World. At the time of his arrest, he was residing in Winter Garden, Florida. On July 31st, 2018, Spikes, along with his cousin Bladen Towden, snuck into backstage areas at the Magic Kingdom theme park using the employee-only Utilidor system, which is an underground tunnel system, one of the largest underground utility tunnel systems in the world. While Spikes was a park employee at the time, Townton was not. This prompted Spikes to create a fake ID for Townton under the name of Jack D. Marrow, so he could access the Utilidor system. They later entered a restricted area of the Haunted Mansion attraction and stole over $7,000 in props and clothing. In December of 2018, Spikes was brought into the Orange County Sheriff's Office for questioning regarding a stolen animatronic. Four months prior, Disney reported that an animatronic named Buzzy was stolen from the Cranium Command attraction at Epcot. Authorities received information that Spikes had texted photos of Buzzy's clothing to another Disney employee and intended to obtain a search warrant for Spikes' cell phone. After Spikes was told that he would have to leave his phone with the sheriff's office so they could investigate, he grabbed his phone and attempted to leave the interview room. Video from the interview shows Spikes being wrestled to the ground by the police. He was charged with resisting an officer without violence. The charges were later dismissed. On May 17, 2019, Spikes was arrested by Orange County Sheriff's Office after investigators connected Spikes to the Haunted Mansion's costumes he had stolen almost a year prior. He faced burglary fencing and grand theft charges. Spike's court case revealed that he had stolen and sold over $30,000 worth of stolen memorabilia to two different customers via PayPal. One of his customers included NBA player Robin Lopez. Lopez, an avid Disney fan, unknowingly bought over $10,000 in stolen memorabilia from Spike's, including clothing from the missing Buzzy animatronic. On February 4th of 2020, Spikes and Townden accepted plea deals avoiding jail time. Both men were ordered to pay $25,308 in restitution, $6,703 to Disney, $10,700 to Robin Lopez, and $7,905 to an accountant from Winter Park, Florida. Spikes received 10 years probation and 250 hours of community service, while Towton received 5 years probation and 125 hours of community service. Both men were also ordered to not return to the Disney property at all for the rest of their lives. If you know about this story, you know, let me know down in the comments below. If you didn't know about it, let me know that as well. As always, continue to look for history and film. If you liked this video, subscribe to the channel for more interesting facts. As always, continue to look for history and film. Catch you guys in the next video.